creation of the Lazarus Vector. Ownership is civilization. Wait! No! Please! Without it, that is the small. <laughs> Patrick? Ain't that just like Ryan? Wait until we're almost out, then he pulls the string. We'll find the bastard. We'll find him, and we'll tear his heart out! I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hum gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep, so later you might remember the taste. Seems like some poor blighters have started seeing ghosts. <laughs> ghosts! Ryan tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid business. One poor sod's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Links, lunatics, rebellion, and now bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in Rapture grand? What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo. Just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. The augmentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Ryan asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? <sighs> I started to argue with the man and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. Even in the gathering dark, Thank you light a candle. You have saved the little ones when you might have shown your cruelty. On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rabble could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. <laughs> I'm no sort of botanist, but I think Ryan has just killed Arcadia. The man's put something foul into the air. Bottom of the ocean, bio. All the oxygen comes from the trees. No trees, no oxygen. Give me a spell to think. Ryan's woman in Arcadia is an old Betty named Langford. An okay sort, but not above doing a dirty job for a dollar. Is she still kicking around? I'm sure she's gonna want to save her trees. After all, she planted the damn thing. My trees? It wasn't you, was it? No. Ryan. I think I've got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... Oh, look who I'm talking to. I've got to keep working while there's time. 
minute we came here, Nasha started screaming, Mama, Mama, what is that? What is that? I thought she was having some kind of seizure. And then I realized, trees, trees. Never saw one before, thought they were monsters. Oh, Sammy, maybe we never should have come to this place. They dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine. Please. They drink human blood and chant, Harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient gods. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too. Yes, 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 I know about the lockdown. It's absurd. Just give me a minute. The early Lazarus tests are very promising. If the Rosa Gallica blew, then by God, I know we're in business. Hurry, the lockdown! Hmm? All right, I'm leaving. But somebody has to find a way to come back to check on these samples. They're very important. Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces, and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. I couldn't believe how much things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocents. He said, innocents? If they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. You brought the Rosa Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in the house. Isn't there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards. Who says you can't teach an old how new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs. And now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. Julie! We made a business deal, you and I, did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan... Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. Ownership is civilization. Wait! No! Please! Without it, we will have it destroyed. <laughs> I've been killing trees for 25 years at Berkeley back in the 20s, on the Japs at Iwo Jima, but I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn Franken tree. I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector. Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. What's the point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons? I've cracked the Vector. 
Or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. Now, I'm a woman of science, but I'm also a woman who's not afraid of turning a buck or two. Ryan said if I could boost profits in Arcadia, part of the up would ride on my hip. So I get to thinking, we're paying for oxygen when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other guys. Ryan will like that for sure. Fontaine's people have moved into the O2 biz tooth and claw. What makes something like me? I look at genes all day long, and never do I see the blueprints of sin. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison camp, but kindred spirits. These children I brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and natural, but in me is an abomination. My maternal instinct. I believe in no god, no invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us, a combination of our efforts, a great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck.